What's up guys, Game Zero and welcome back to Pro Cycle Manager 2021 for stage number 13 of our Joe playthrough with DSM. Today's stage is a sprint one of 150 kilometers between San Remo and Cuneo. Following the last two stages, uh, our sprinting abilities have been very poor, we'll say. Uh, but we'll see if this stage could be uh, maybe the start of something new. I mean, my best candidate for Chiclamino is now Roman Bardet, and some of you have asked me to go for Roman Bardet for Chiclamino, so I am manifesting it today for the first time. Bardet for Chiclamino, let's go. It's a zero for our sprinter, Roman Bardet. Uh, it is a plus one for Kizbol, and it is a plus one for Alberto Dinaza, the first uh, Italian winner on the Giro d'Italia this year. Quickly followed by Stefano Aldani, but still. Um, but yeah, uh, we're, we're going to go for uh, a sprint train of... Um, one of our sprinters and Roma in the wheel because it seems to work and also there's a there's a slight hill at the end uh, we're going to quartz Kuno max of seven percent uh average of two kilometers oh sorry of two percent for two kilometers very interesting race scenario uh we've got 100k to go and i've tried to win the breakaway with uh with luca oh with um sorry with chris hamilton we struggled we struggled uh but we managed to to come back on pierre-luc perichon the breakaway uh has 220 the gap was three minutes when i started talking what the fuck Ineos. I've had enough of them. I've actually had enough of them. We've made the summit. Chris Hamilton got dropped by Pierre-Luc Perrichon. Uh, but I, I mean, I had no energy and I still have basically none. Um, so, uh, if Pierre-Luc attacks, accelerates, does anything of the following, uh, I will be dropped. Gap is 216. Putra stopped pacing for the love of God. But, I mean, Dinosaur and Kisbot are very low on energy already. Huge crash in Peloton. Massive crash. Um, Jai Hindley is on the ground. So is Guillaume Martin. So is Peo Bilbao. They may come back um, through uh, Wesley Creda and David Villela. They actually will come back. Congratulations to them. I think there was two other riders that crashed. That's Barna Bashpiak and Domenico Putovivo. Not sure that the Italian rider will make a comeback. Because we've got the IS coming up in um, six kilometers. And I suspect the Peloton to accelerate their rhythm to make the points. You've got the train of Arnaud Demar already here. Same for Caleb Ewan. I think Dominic Pozzero has lost any hopes of a GC top 10 today. I stand corrected. He came back. I'm very surprised that they didn't send any more than just Barnabas Piak. So. They could have sent Taramayo Yaniat. It wouldn't have been really that shocking in my eyes. More crashes. This time it's Alejandro Valverde. And once again, Guillaume Martin finds himself on the floor. I, mean, I know he likes to make GC comebacks. But usually he, he loses position is because what well, he used too much energy the day before. Today I feel like he's just trying to lose. Uh, but you've got many riders on the floor. Pascal Incorn is the latest one with Fabio Felline. It broke Nicola Prodom as well. Any one of them with uh, withdrawing? No. Back on the saddle they go. 16 kilometers, the breakaway is no more. And sadly, I think we've also lost Alejandro Alverde in the general classification of the Giro d'Italia. More crashes are for fuck's sake, it's Mikel Landa. Landismo. Mikel Landa's on the floor. I'm so, I'm so sad. Schwarzman and Selig, but nobody cares about the German leadouts of Caleb Ewan. Landismo is on the floor. And no one is waiting for him. Oh, there we go. There's Zasha Sutelin. They're waiting with Pierre Bilbao. Oh my god. Bahrain are the dumbest team I've met. Five kilometers. Let's accelerate with, uh, with Romain Combo. The train of Arnaud Demar is right here. I've got Dinoza in Arnaud's wheel just in case. We're going to have this hill that we've mentioned before. There's a few corners. It's a bit of a tricky one, if I'm being honest. Arnaud is well placed, and therefore so is uh, Alberto Dinoza. Many corners there. Two kilometers. Let's not get fooled by, um, by this one kilometer banner. Let's go with Nico Dens. All right. Is there many corners left? I feel like there's going to be a lot of corners left, which is a bit sad. 500 meters, 700 meters. Oh, case ball. Case ball has been blocked by so many riders. Case block. Uh, case, well, for, yeah, case blocked. It's not even case ball anymore. It's case blocked. Demar Dain as a Germay Ballerini needs a row. Ah, the legs to win today. Ah, the legs to win today. All right, so we'll try and with case ball. So he's well placed right now behind Nico Dens. What happened? What? Just dropped. Uh, I don't really know what to say or how to explain what just happened, but it just did. Uh, so Demar wins ahead of Dinaza and Benny Girmay, uh, who's still in the race because he hasn't won yet. 
So congratulations, Vinny. Yeah, a bit of a disappointing stage. <laughs> Blessing in disguise, though. <laughs> what my mother did take Zelida to Chiclami, New Jersey. Vamos. Sadly, for Mikel Landa, for P.O. Bilbao, Alejandro Valverde and Guillaume Martin, it is more than two minutes that have been lost today. And apart from these guys, nothing has happened. In the general classification, it is still Richard Carapaz that heads going into stage 14 for the end of the second week of the Jared Salia. If you want to see though tomorrow's stage, which is between Santena and Torino, we'll find once again some elevation, which we haven't seen for the past three days. Then do feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you tomorrow for stage number 14 of the Giro. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. See ya. Pass me the phone, get your phone.